Honestly, between you and me, I don't know where Puma are going wrong with the Dortmund kits. I know they've got till 2025 and um, it may be extended, but whatever happened to the Dortmund kits of its time, I think we all love Dortmund's you know, 90s era because of the one and only Drake Ramberg, but like, look at this and then you look at that. Now, I did buy last season's and I'm a huge fan of last season because even though some people called it the Pikachu or the Lecter Buzz, it did play on that sort of uh, culture of Borussia Dortmund. I think we finally got to see the sort of, you know, elegant black and yellow, you know, kit designs that we do associate with the club. And I'll be honest, the last, you know, 20 years of the club, we've seen some terrible, terrible designs. And uh, yes, I did order the Puma version of this throwback. And I do like what they've done, for, you know, with that kit, but it's sort of a bit of a rip off to Drake Ramberg's design. I know sometimes when it comes to a manufacturer creating a kit for the club, it will never stay purely for that manufacturer. So for example, Nike doing some amazing bits for Dortmund doesn't mean that people will remember it for Nike, but they will remember it for this design itself. Hence why Puma has gone and tried to make a money scheme and design that kit. What are your thoughts? Nostalgia or today's modern designs? Now, look, don't get me wrong, I do like how bright it is. I do like the yellow that we do see on the Dortmund kits. I don't understand why some clubs manufacturers, they go for two different tones of yellows or shades of the color on their shirt and badge. If you have that badge color and then you try to use a different color for the shirt, it doesn't work. Like either try your best to match it. I think this is probably the closest I've seen. I know some of the Chelsea kits in the past, the blue on the shirt and the blue on the actual badge just did not match and it kind of confuses me in that point now let's get straight into the design it does again have that you know throwback vibe to what we see in the Marseille kit but um they're saying that this represents the 1997 champion squad of Borussia Dortmund now I, I'm calling it you know total bullshit that uh, they've gone for that motto it's for, and you know me guys when I review the kits it's uh, I, I don't hold back I think the kit is nice if you're a Borussia Dortmund fan but I think they missed out three major points. One, don't base it on a team that won, you know, a, a, a something amazing with a kit that does not represent this. Or sorry, this does not represent that. So that's number one. Number two, that V-neck collar is horrible. I know when I'm holding it with this, the black background does hold it. You'll see it when I put it on, on, on me. But um, I think they've really let down this shirt with that V-neck. It would have been nice with a higher crew neck or something a bit more, you know, a bit bolder around the neck. Again, the sleeves on this are great, but I don't see what unique uh, element this has to Borussia Dortmund. I feel like it's a great shirt. You know, take off that sponsorship and that uh, Borussia Dortmund badge, it can be a definite template kit. Now, that's the three things that I dislike about it, but I think this season, the, the sponsorship actually works a lot better than last seasons. It isn't just a slap on sort of design that we saw last year, but I think this year actually they've manufactured some sort of vinyl or just a, a little bit more, um, they put a little bit more thought into the actual piece onto it. Again, it is ugly. It's nothing like we do see the Decontinental, but it is what it is. Now, fun fact, Borussia Dortmund do wear two different home shirts every year. They've got one for the Pokal and they've got one for the Bundesliga. So this is not the final home shirt. I'm sure we'll see another home shirt in the next couple of weeks or before the season starts, but I'm um, really excited to see Haaland wear this again. And uh, as always, I think black and yellow are the two, you know, best sort of colorways that you will ever have. Like I said in an episode prior to this, I think when we talk about shirt colors, black and yellow are the most sort of iconic colors. The dry cell technology again is great. And like I said in my Marseille episode, if this is before or after that, I do say that Puma have once again pushed their boundaries for the manufacturer and have gone for a nicer material compared to 2020 kits. The stitching on this is great. I do love how you know, when you when you flip the shirt inside out, you don't see any sort of um, elements of deterioration straight away when you buy it. Some of my shirts that I've reviewed, like the Yako brand, not a huge fan of their stitching. And I do believe Puma, out of the most higher manufacturers, have the best. I do love one thing about this design is that some of the shirts, they have the stitching above or under the sleeve. And this one is a full circular motion. And you do have that sort of, you know, round sleeve. And I do love how it feels on me and talking about that let's try the shirt on so what do you think last season this season like i said last season tops it off in many ways uh, what can i say i think puma have missed the mark once again i'm really disappointed 
I don't know what's going to happen. I know when it comes to last season's kit, it got a lot of backlash, but I believe it's stronger between the two. You know, you take, like I said, take off these badges and this, it's a training top. Do that to that, and it's amazing. I do think this is gonna be iconic compared to this. I just don't know what Puma are doing. I'm really disappointed. I see some amazing designs for AC Milan and for Marseille, and I just think they always miss it with Borussia Dortmund. I do love what they did with their throwback kit last season. Why can't they do that for more of their home kits? Just, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that Borussia Dortmund is getting let down by Puma? And what manufacturer would you like to see come back to Dortmund? I'd like to see Nike, and imagine Drake Rainbow coming out of his minor retirement to design a new, you know, modern 2020 onwards kit for, you know, the Borussia Dortmund. That would be a holy grail show, and I think Nike would be the best manufacturer for the club. Now, I am wearing the shirt like you always are, and I have to say, compared to the Marseille shirt, I think the sleeves on this one is a bit too high. I feel like it's really exposing my arms, not that some people think I complain about, but I think for a medium shirt, I'd like my sleeves a bit lower. I like feeling the sleeves covering my elbows a bit. That sort of nostalgia, 90s long sleeve, sort of short sleeve feel, where it's just a bit oversized. Um, if you are a medium, go for a large. I think the medium's a bit too tight in this one. I'm not sure why there's a mass massive difference between the Marseille shirt and this shirt, even though they're both the same sizes. The meshing and the material on this one does feel great, like the Marseille shirt, like I said previously. I think last season's shirts were great in designs, but really lacked that sort of material element of things. It does feature a lot of recycled material, and I do like that thought um, going into the future. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Puma and their recent kits, I think their marketing behind their kits are great, and I think that's what saves them a lot. I'm really excited to see what the away and potential third shirts will be for Borussia Dortmund. I've not seen the rumors as of yet. And of course, if those shirts are released before this video, please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. This shirt is supplied to you by Ultra Football. Thank you so much for always keeping me up to date with the new and latest kits. But if you are after any of this season's kits or last season's sales, check out Ultra Football in the description below. But as always, please stay safe, stay away from stupid people, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, and goodbye.